Today we've got a homeowner from Canada that fights back against two home invaders. I'm going to cover the mistakes that he made that could have cost him dearly. You want to know a common theme to all of these home invasion videos? They always start with an unlocked door. I don't ever keep my door unlocked. Not in the daytime, not when I go to the mailbox and back, never. Okay, notice that not only was the door from the outside into the garage unlocked, but the door from the garage to the inside of the house was also unlocked. Look, both doors need to be locked at all times. Many criminals have tricks to open your actual garage door, so you absolutely want to keep the door to get inside your home locked as well. Okay, fighting in socks absolutely sucks because you will slip around. If you have time to slip them off or put on shoes, that would be way better. Now, he is fighting two guys at once, and that is a tactical disaster. You should always look to get one of the attackers between you and the other one, so you only have to fight one at a time. Using a tie clinch, you can move one guy around like a human shield while smashing him in the testicles with kicks and in his body and face with knees. Because you want to take one guy out as soon as possible so you don't have to fight two at a time. Punching at a guy in this position is a good way to hit his skull and break your hands. A better idea would be to grab his hair or a hoodie and smash knees into his face. When he goes down, you could also stomp or soccer kick him. Remember, you need to take out one guy ASAP so you're not going to be fighting two. Now, because he didn't effectively take out the attacker uh, number one, he's back to fighting two at a time. This is why you must be ruthless and efficient in taking out one at a time when in a multiple attacker situation. Always take out one guy, then move to the next with aggression. You can tell our homeowner is a fit guy, but he doesn't know how to fight. Thankfully, the home invaders don't know how to fight and aren't very tough. This is actually fairly typical these days, and that is good news if you consistently train in a realistic martial art and can channel your aggression. Uh, you should be able to win in a situation like this. If you don't train, well... Well, he really wants his stuff back. <laughs> uh, you can hear him yelling for someone to call 911. Uh, when it comes to chasing down and using violence against criminals who stole something from you, uh, most places in the U.S. you are allowed to do that, but you must use reasonable, non-lethal force. Uh, in Canada, I doubt you're allowed to do anything at all. What you can't see is that the homeowner locked the door, which was cool. Okay, the homeowner's arm, the home invader's arms are tied up in his shirt, and the second attacker is locked outside. Uh, this would actually be a really good time to engage in ground fighting. Uh, I would drop down my, uh, with my weight uh, onto his arms into a side mount and smash 12 to 6 elbows on his head for a quick knockout. With the guy's arms tied up like this in his shirt, you just put your weight on him, he's not going to be able to move. So that would be a really good move from here. Right there, you could drop down and take this guy out. Our homeowner is in a dangerous position here. Standing over a guy like this, you could get kicked in your testicles, solar plexus, or face. Uh, once again, uh, reality-based ground fighting would be a really good option here. Uh, from this position, he could drop a knee onto the solar plexus, 
use his free hand to trap the guy's still tied up hands in his clothes and then with the other hand he could just smash hammer fist right into the guy's face for a knockout. Uh, this is not good for a homeowner. I can't tell if there's a guillotine choke or not. The homeowner needs to quickly tuck his chin, grab the attacker's wrist to relieve pressure, and then he can use his free hand to find the testicles, squeeze, twist, and yank. Um, I'm guessing the homeowner got choked out since the video ends here and we know the criminal got away. Uh, the homeowner is very lucky that the criminal didn't do anything worse once he was choked out. Uh, at least as far as we know, nothing worse happened. Now from what I understand, the criminals got away. The police are supposedly looking for them, but let's be real. Uh, the police are overwhelmed and understaffed and they aren't really looking. Remember, all of this was preventable by doing one simple thing keeping the doors and easily accessible windows locked. Now, if you're faced with multiple home invaders, having the ability to get to a quick access weapon is your best bet. If you have to fight unarmed, then you want to use rapid assault tactics for the win. Create the entry, straight blast down their center line, clench them up, use one of them as a human shield while you quickly take out that first guy, and then go right at the next one with aggression. Folks, as always, thanks for liking the video. Subscribe to see future videos. And if you want to become part of the Warrior class, I always recommend you start now. Go find a school that teaches reality-based martial arts and get started right away. See you next time.